Hello everyone and welcome to my parents' beautiful backyard. I wish this was mine. And today we are outside because I fell down another wish rabbit hole and I picked out a whole bunch of wish pool floaties and toys to test out. I've seen a ton of these and they looked super fun so I figured well, we need to give them a shot because I basically live in the pool the entire summer. Make sure if you like this video to give it a big thumbs up and click on the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on when new videos go live every single Saturday. And without further ado, let's get in the pool. Actually, not first. First, we have something that we put on before we go in the pool. And I need to change my shirt because apparently I got marker on it. So first, we're going to test out before we go in the pool. We're going to be testing out these little guys, which are basically like foot stickers and basically what they do is they stick to the bottom of your feet which i think is going to be really good if you go to like a beach or something like that because if you use flip-flops they're like constantly kicking up sand in your eyes is that just me so we're going to see if these actually help from keeping my feet from frying ah amazing and i got extra large because i have giant feet all right so i'm going to do one with and one without and i'm going to see if it actually does make a big enough difference. Oh, that's so cool looking. All right, so you can see, obviously there is blue. That's the foot that has it. That's the foot that doesn't. Let's see if this actually helps, because it is scalding hot over here. Ah, oh, my one foot is burning. But the other one isn't. Weird. This is a very weird yeah. sensation, everyone. Let's see if I stand. Nope, it is not getting any worse. It is actually doing a good job at keeping my feet from burning. It's not cold at all, but it's colder than the outside. So the first thing we're going to be testing in the pool is these little like webbed glove things. So they're made of silicone and they go over your, I guess your, your hands like this and it's like you're a webbed creature. I guess you can go faster, I guess, when you're swimming. Well, let's try these out. There was like very specific measurements in terms of like um, how they're going to fit on your, on your hands. So hopefully I measured correctly because that's important and then we're gonna swim with these and I could be like a frog is it just supposed to go over the top how are you supposed to get it on once you have it on the one hand there you got one on do the other side oh my god this is taking so long this better be worth it is this just painful to watch okay got them on these are weird okay so let's put on some goggles and let's go swimming. All right, ready? I feel like these are kind of interesting and different and unique, but they're starting to like hurt a little bit on my thumbs. And while they did add some level of like paddle power, not enough that it's like fins or, or what are those things called? Flippers. It's not like flippers for your hands. So. I don't know, I can't see myself using these again, unfortunately, because I was really excited about these. Next up, we're gonna try out this full face mask, which I'm so excited about. It's actually something that my dad wanted to buy and try, so I'm glad I have it here. And basically, it fits over your entire face, and it's a snorkel, like, all in one, so you don't get your face wet, you can kind of look around underwater. This has a special little attachment in it, so it's not supposed to let water in, like a normal snorkel would if you went down too low. Um, so there's that, and I don't know, it had really good ratings, and I'm kind of excited. Let's put this on, if I can figure that out. Whoa, how cool am I right now? Are you ready? It stopped, uh, I couldn't breathe. So I guess that's how you know if you've gone too far down. Interesting. By the way, just an update. These things have entirely like peeled off of my foot. Just in case you were wondering. Like you could probably walk around in some water and then on dry land, but don't plan on swimming in them. Okay, let me try this again. I like it. You like snorkeling. Like, that was pretty cool. It's cool that I can like breathe through my nose properly and I usually can't do that with masks. And I, I kind of like that. I really like this, I'm gonna keep using it. Okay, now something I have dreamed of using since I was small, which is my very own mermaid tail. It came with like a full on like ensemble. Now um, this, this isn't gonna fit me. So we're gonna put that to the side. But it did come with its own like little mermaid tail 
and the little flipper. So I'm so, I'm so excited. So we're gonna put this on and we're gonna see how it works. I've always wanted to try this. I know they have like classes and things where people get to like experiment with these and like do it because it's supposed to be really hard. But uh, yeah, let's put this on. My feet are in inside this. This by the way feels very constricted. They have little buttons on the bottom of this and it does up over top so it completely covers it so it looks like a mermaid fin. Not a perfect fit, but I like it. Now I have to figure out how to get on the rest of it. I did not think this through. How do I look? Huh? Pretty mermaidy. Okay, we ready? Let's do this. In case I panic, you know. Oh. <laughs> I slid down the, <laughs> the slide. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. Yeah, I absolutely need a noodle. I'm not feeling like Ariel or any of her sisters. I don't even want to know what would happen to me if I tried to do this without the, the noodle. I would probably sink to the bottom and never recover. <laughs> Fortunately, you can slip out of these like pretty easily. Like not easily. I, I, I feel like they're pretty secure right now, but they're stretchy enough that I feel like I can just like slip them off if I needed to, which is good. Um, but they are sturdy, they are staying on. I don't feel like they're going to flop off me immediately. So like if you're really good at this whole mermaid swimming thing, they are like good, like they're good quality. I am moving in them. Beginner mermaid right now, first day at sea. Something kind of enjoyable about this film. <laughs> I just, I feel like it's not as regal as I was hoping. Maybe more like a walrus. <laughs> Like a How does she make herself look so- Whoa, there we go. I mean, it's not very graceful looking, but I am moving. Flipping your face, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping and dancing. And also swimming, it turns out. I am moving though. You see that? Right? Right? Eh? My daughter is going to be so impressed with me. underwater with this. Really sink in or swim into the mermaid vibes. There's definitely a rhythm to it, which I don't have right now. It is a workout though. Now granted, I'm not in great shape, but it is a workout. Wish me luck everyone. That was pretty cool. I didn't use my hands at all. I made it all the way across. Good for me. This takes a getting used to, but this is kind of fun. Okay, I take it back. It is pretty fun. It does take some getting used to though. And like figuring out the motion of it versus like I'm used to like kicking, right? So it like requires this like bending motion, but it is pretty fun. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna use it again. I'm also gonna make my sister try it. Okay, we gotta blow these things up. There's a lot of pieces here. Thank you, Christopher. Oh, we got a flamingo. Bonus flamingo. Bonus flamingo. Ooh, it's a drink thing for when you finish and win your battle. Okay, so we have our pool floaties and apparently we're supposed to sit on these logs. By the way, this is Joshua. This is my brother-in-law. And he is going to be battling me on these like little floaty wood log things or as my children call webs because they look like webs. So we are going to, I guess, get on these things mm -hmm. and then we battle with these and try and knock each other off. And I'm curious if this is gonna stay in, in flotation, or if it's just gonna, we're just not be gonna be able to get on it. Yeah, at I all. might not be able, but like, you might win already <laughs> by default. All right, well, let's try and do this. <laughs> Aha! Success already! Daddy and Andrew, you're doing really good. Oh, so good! So good, Joshua! Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh, good heavens. <laughs> this is also why we're in the shallow end. Okay. All right. You ready? No. <laughs> Let's do it anyways. You did restart. Reset. Restart. We're okay now. I'm the best of pool battles. Best of pool battles? Okay, are you putting your feet on the ground or are you not? Oh no, no, they're coming up. Okay, good. Coming up once you say go. Ready? Go. Set. Go. So, round one! So, round so, one! This is actually quite fun. Hard to stay balanced. It's fun to have of us. Yeah, I'm enjoying this because I'm winning. Like, it actually, you do need to stay a little bit balanced on this. Round two in the deep end. Round two in the deep end! Oh! That feels like it'll be harder, but I'm, I'm up for it. Like is this why I never did get at horseback riding? I am still floating. You'll note it hasn't started to leak air, which is good. Are you ready? Ready. For our battle. Royale. Set. Go. Go. Where's the 
done. Here we go. This is an interesting one. It's a light that sits at the bottom of the pool and I thought now would be a good time to do it because the pool is mostly in shade. But it's cool because it has a remote and it can change colors. So I bought three of them to see what they look like at the bottom of the pool and just like kind of curious what the different effects are like, how bright it is, all that kind of stuff. So this is the remote that it comes with and so you can turn it on and you can change all the colors. If you wanted specific colors or you can do like fade so it's slowly gonna change to different colors which would look pretty cool. There's like flash and one that's like more, I think this one's more Christmas. It's very Christmas lights vibe, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna test it on the stairs first before I throw it into the deep end. First of all, make sure it's nice and tightly screwed on. Sink to the bottom, little guy. Whoa! Fun, it's like Christmas in July. <laughs> do the fade. I said do the fade. Okay, you have to like directly point this yeah, thing at. Yeah, point it at it. Like otherwise it doesn't listen. Like it's not listening to me right now. I feel like if you had a couple in the bottom of the pool at night, that would look kind of cool. Down at the bottom now. Will it turn on? Oh, come on, work, you're so cool. Is that too far? I don't know. It's not much use if you can't, uh, you can't turn it off. Yeah, like if it's sitting it at the bottom of the pool. Okay, now we're testing. Chris has the remote, and my dad's got this on like a long net. We want to see at what point will it actually turn on. At what distance? We definitely, oh, there we go. And it says on the um, on the website that it would do about 10 meters, which it is definitely not. Maybe, maybe three feet. So it wouldn't even work on the bottom of the shallow end no. then? No. Huh. That's a bummer. That's a good to know. That's good to know though. So then we gave it a go at night and I could only find two of them. I don't know where the, other, the third one went, but I figured this would give a good indication of what they look like at nighttime. Um, tried them in different parts of the pool, see how bright they were. They're pretty bright. I think if you had a couple in a pool for like a party, I think that would be really, really pretty. But you have to be willing to like go in with a net and like scoop them up every single time you want to change them or turn them off or anything like that because obviously the remote does not reach that deep. So what do you guys think? Have you tried any of these types of pool toys before, pool floaties before? Let me know in the comments if you've bought any of them off of Wish or like what your favorite pool toy or pool like floaty thing is. Mine is the rose gold flamingo that I bought last year and it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos here every Saturday. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and that is everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome Saturday and I'll see you all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah!